Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. Hope you're doing well today. And in this video, we are gonna compare the Voyager 4220 against the EPOS Adapt 360 that you see in front of me here. Both of them are very comparable. Uh, this one from the EPOS brand and then this one from the Poly brand. So you'll get a good idea of which one you think is best as we're gonna put the microphones to the blender test, of course, and we're also gonna let you listen to the speakers on these headsets and we're also going to do a range test so you can see for yourself which one may be best for your specific situation so let's get started right now all right let's take a quick look at the technical specs all right starting with the poly voyager 4220 it uses bluetooth 5.0 wireless technology it's going to give you a wireless range of up to 98 feet but typically you're going to get about 30 to 50 feet of wireless range which again we're going to test in this video to see which one compares and then talk time is going to give you 12 hours of continuous talk time you have a weight of 150 grams you'll have a two-year warranty and you have an msrp price of 181 of course, a noise canceling microphone, and then it's dual speaker wearing style. Okay, now with the EPOS Adapt 360, it utilizes a Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. So it's going to connect to your computer and also your mobile phones with Bluetooth. Wireless rating, they give 82 feet of wireless range, which typically you see about 30 to 50 feet. Now, talk time is rated 39 hours, so that's uh, almost triple of the Voyager, so that is significant. You have uh, eight ounces, so it's almost double the weight, but it does cover the ears fully, uh, so it's around the ear rather than on the ear like the Voyager 4220. And then it does have a two-year warranty, and it's going to be an MSRP price of 269 so it's going to be a little bit more on the msrp side all right now let's take a quick close-up look of the 4220 so it has an adjustable headband here it has a really nice design it's got a smooth uh, leather cushion at the top so the headband's going to be comfortable and the ear cups are fully adjustable uh, 360 or 180 degrees so you can position it on your head however fits you the best. The microphone boom rotates all the way over, kind of feels nice as it clicks into place. It's also a bendable microphone, so you can actually bend it to the uh, specific position that you need the microphone boom to be at. You also have your increase, decrease volume, your call control so you can turn on or off the headset or answer and end calls. And then you mute the microphone with this fancy red button here. It does have micro USB uh, port on the side and you can actually use that as a wired headset if your battery runs out, which is always convenient. Of course, you have your power on and pairing button there as well. So I'm now looking at the Adapt 360. It's kind of this flat matte uh, material. It's definitely more substantial in size when you compare them. As you see that, it's almost double the size of the speaker. But what I'm thinking with that extra size, you're going to get in extra audio quality and also um, passive noise cancellation. You know, one other feature I didn't mention here is this does actually have active noise cancellation. So this is a entry level price point, but you're gonna get uh, not only the larger ear cushions, but you're also going to get active noise cancellation and really be able to focus in on your calls. And it actually folds up too, so you can store it in its case and also transport it even easier um, than if it didn't fold. So let's look at the buttons here. There's physical buttons. You have your Microsoft Teams button, which will initiate your Microsoft Teams. You have your uh, volume increase, decrease, you have your power on and your ANC button, and you have a USB-C port and a 3.5 millimeter port in case you want to connect up to a mobile device and listen to music or um, anything with a 3.5 millimeter port. 
All right, now that we have that out of the way, let us hook these up to the computer so we can test the, the wireless range. We'll test the speakers so you can hear how they sound. And then of course, we'll test the microphone to see if this microphone boom has better noise cancellation than the Adapt 360 that does not have a microphone boom as this is a boomless uh, wireless headset design. So we'll see how that compares. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna test the speakers here. Now, before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing as we are testing all of the latest business audio technology, such as headsets, webcams, and speaker phones. All right, so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna play max volume out of this headset. You'll be able to keep an eye on the decibel reader here to see how loud the speakers get in this room. And then you'll also be able to actually listen to the audio quality through the microphone here that you'll see in just a second. All right, Jeff, go ahead and play the audio. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a range test to see how far we can go with this EPOS Adapt 360. So Jeff, grab the camera, follow me outside, and we'll see how far we can go. I have music playing through the headset, so I know when the audio is going to be uh, starting to cut out, but my voice is also being recorded, so you know that uh, you'd be able to have a conversation with somebody on a Zoom meeting if you uh, are actually recording on this headset. So let's just go out here a little ways. As you can tell, it's a windy day today. I still hear music, so this is actually going pretty good. Oh, I was speaking too soon. I'm starting to cut out right now. We'll cut to the DSLR camera if you can't hear our voice clearly through the Sennheiser headset or the EPOS headset. So let's go a little further. It's starting to cut out, but let's keep it going. This is probably like 40 feet right now. Still hearing music, which is good. Not sure if you can hear my voice yet. So we're getting near that 80 foot range. Still hearing it good. Oh, it's cutting out pretty good right about now. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty close to that 80 foot range. And we're also outside on a windy day just for whatever that's worth. All right, so now we're gonna test the range on the Poly Voyager 4220. I have music playing in the headset here, so I'll be able to know when we start getting out of range. So let's get started. Let's go test out the range here. Jeff, follow me back through the studio so you can see behind the scenes here here we go let's go get some fresh air outside all right just follow me we're about halfway to where we made it for the sennheiser All right, we're starting to cut out. This is exactly what happened with the Sennheiser, but we were able to get a little bit more range, so let's go slowly, but it's cutting out pretty good right about now. And it's cutting out pretty bad. You probably can't hear my voice, so we're switching to the DSLR camera. So this is unusable basically in the last 10 feet. So let's go back just a hair. 
I'll show you where we got to. All right, so now we're back in range and you probably can hear me now. So this is about where you're gonna get. It's about the 40 foot range. The computer's right in that window right over there, if you can see that. So this is how far it is away. All right, so we're gonna test the microphone on the Poly in just a second, but my voice is being recorded directly through the camera with no noise canceling microphone, and this is no uh, background noise. So this is what the Poly 4220 sounds like with no noise cancellation. I mean, excuse me, uh, there's no noise going on in the background. It's just, this is what you can expect the microphone to sound like when you're on a Zoom meeting with nothing, no distractions in the background, which is what you hope to have, but sometimes is not so easy to have, especially if you're working remotely with a family like I am. Kids are always making noise and neighbors mowing their lawns and all sorts of stuff like that. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly switch to the EPOS so you can hear what that sounds like. And then we're gonna add in some background noise and of course get to the blender test. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360 without any background noise on, testing one, two, three. And there's, as you can see, there's no microphone boom like there was on the Voyager. It is, uh, the microphone is set on the right-hand side of uh, the speaker. There's a right and a left for whatever that's worth. But this is what it sounds like. And what we're gonna do next is we are gonna play some office ambient noise here in just a second so you can hear how much noise is being canceled from these headsets. All right, now this is the camera with no back, or excuse me, with no noise cancellation, just um, without a headset. Now this is going through the headset. So testing one, two, three with that same background noise and you can see on the decibel reader, I'll be quiet so you can see how much noise is going on in the background. All right, so it's close to the 70 decibel range here. So testing one, two, three, you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not that background noise, phone calls ringing, people chatting, typing, that type of thing in the background. All right, now let us switch to the EPOS. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360 with the office ambient noise in the background, phone calls, talking, typing, that type of stuff. So you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear. at 65 to 70 decibel range here in this room so this is how much noise would cancel or not cancel so what we're going to do next is we are going to step up this test even further with the blender on in the background so that you can hear what that sounds like all right now this is with the blender on in the background with the camera and switching over to the poly this is what it sounds like with that blender on in the background and we're gonna keep talking for a few more seconds here just so you can get a good idea of what it sounds like with that consistent uh, loud noise right next to me. I'll be quiet so you can see how much decibels there is on the background there. All right, it's around 75 decibels here. So that's quite loud. So testing one, two, three, and then we'll switch over to the EPOS. All right, now we have the blender on in the background. This is the EPOS with the blender. So testing one, two, three, this is an extreme example and I'll be quiet so you can see how much noise is being picked up. All right, so that gives you a really good test of the noise canceling between the Poly and the EPOS. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So what did you think of the overall audio quality between the two? Did you have a preference? If so, put your thoughts in the comment section below. Would love to uh, hear your thoughts. The EPOS or the Poly, which one was better for you? Now, my two cents here, if you're looking for music, you're looking to zone in on like uh, your work and you don't want outside distractions, go with the EPOS just because it has these larger ear cushions. So it's gonna fully cover up your ear and it's gonna give you more protection from sound going on around you. And you can really focus in on your work without as much distractions. And also because the speakers are a bit larger, you're gonna get a bit better uh, quality of audio. I didn't think it was as loud as the 4220, but kind of listening to it back uh, several times, I preferred the audio, like the the sound quality and 
the base and all that stuff of the EPOS a little bit better than the 4220. But, you know, you got to think about what your preferences are. Uh, you also have extremely long battery life, almost 40 hours of battery life on the EPOS. So if you're traveling and, you know, don't want to worry about your battery too often, uh, that's going to be the way to go. But if you want to save a little bit of money, as the price difference is about $50 MSRP wise, um, in real world on our website, it's not that big of a difference. But um, if you don't need that active noise cancellation or uh, you don't want those bigger ear cushions and music isn't as big of a priority then go with the poly just because you save more money it's not fully uh, covering your ear which is going to be uncomfortable to some this rests on top of your ear and it's about half the weight so you're really going to probably be able to wear this one for a longer period of time Plus you have that microphone boom that helps isolate that noise a little bit, gives you a little bit better microphone quality. But that's just my two cents. Um, one other thing to consider is software where uh, EPOS right now is, is not certified for Ring Central, for example, so you won't get the ability to answer and end calls all the way from your desk if you have Ring Central. With Poly, they are certified for a ton of different platforms. So you're gonna have more compatibility as far as that feature. But being that these are both Bluetooth wireless headsets, your range is only about 30 to 50, so it's not that big of a deal. But it is something to be aware of um, when you're deciding. Uh, EPOS is only Teams and APTX, which will have that remote answering feature. So just keep that in mind as you're making your selections. And of course, if you uh, want these products, make sure you support our small business. The links will be in the video description below and use coupon code YouTube. That's gonna save you the most amount of money. And of course, if you need help finding a wired or wireless headset that you're not sure which works with your phones, your phone system, it's really confusing. There's so many brands, hundreds of options. We'll help you cut through the noise absolutely free. So I'll put our contact information up on the screen right now so that you can see it, email us, live chat, whatever. Uh, we will respond, we look at all that stuff. So I really appreciate you coming by, checking out this video today. Hope this was of value. If so, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. That's all I got for you this time. We'll see you next time.